The last supplementary question will be asked by the Honorable Swartz. Thank you, Nice Chair. Thank you, Acting Minister. Minister, at the end of January this year, the President assented to a number of important amendment bills in, to strengthen the fight against gender-based violence. These are the Criminal Law Sexual Offences Amendment Bill, the Criminal Related Matters Bill, and the Domestic Violence Bill. And they cover a wide range of issues. They are victim-centred and are aimed at protecting the vulnerable. Now, I'm sure you're also aware of it, of these bills in, in terms of uh, being the Minister of Social Development. Now, arising from your response in the acting minister capacity, to what degree are the departments, and of course, all of us, it's incumbent upon all of us, spreading the message about these very important bills so that the public is aware of the, these important amendments. For example, the domestic violence bill that one can now apply online for orders to, for protection. I think it's very key that the public are informed about these far-reaching bills, which we support, but we all need to accept responsibility. And I appreciate the fact that we, you emphasize behavioral change, you emphasize that it affects everyone in society, and previously you've obviously also referred to the importance of families in this regard. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable Minister. Um, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Member, for that uh, follow-up question. Yes, I think we have to do much more in terms of making the public aware. And uh, we have to do much, much more to strengthen the families because I believe and we believe, and as government also, we believe that we have to do something in supporting the families. It is for that reason, for instance, that the Department of Social Development is responsible for um, mobilizing, supporting, advocating, even amongst those uh, organizations that are, are based uh, in, in, in communities. But also it's about ensuring that where there is a broader reach, like faith-based organizations, religious organizations, they have people coming to their churches every Sunday. These are the platforms where such bills must be explained uh, to the people. We've got radio stations, uh, both uh, from the SABC and any other, including your community radio stations. These are the stations where we have to use. But I think the last one for me, which is very important, is, that, is the work that is being done by uh, parliamentarians in their oversight and holding us uh, accountable as the executive, because I believe every time you go to your constituencies, you must not lose sight of this problem of gender-based violence, and you must continue to hold us accountable by, in terms of the finances that you are spending. Because here, Honorable Swart, when I look at how much money we are spending on NPOs, which are supposed to be doing this work, we spend 8.2 billion per year. That money does not come, it comes to us, but we take it to the different NPOs and NGOs. And I personally believe that those NGOs must not necessarily be an extension of government. No, I'm saying they are given resources by this government to make sure that they, they render those services. And we've got guidelines as to exactly how do they get the funds, what must they do that with the funds. Where I think there's a weakness is in the monitoring and evaluation, because if they were doing their work, the impact should be felt in the different communities. So I, I, I do believe uh, your question is actually almost like a message to us that do better than you are doing in terms of making sure that people are aware of the good work we develop the policy, we sit long hours doing that. It comes to parliament, to the portfolio committees. You spend so much time going through it. And once it is adopted, it must not be something that's folded and, and, and put away. Communities, we must strengthen our institutions so that communities know that they've got institutional recourse. It's one thing to have a policy nicely written. It's another for people to feel that the institutions are not actually adequately responding to them. Thank you very much.